Good morning, New Canaan High School. I'm Annie Manalia. Today is December 15th and a day H. Next to me is Dom Maitino. Dom, how are you doing today? I'm doing eight, great, Annie, and I'm just excited to see some snow before the holidays. With that being said, we have plenty of holiday-related announcements to get to, so may everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This past Wednesday, the choir program had their first concert of the year. Their theme, All Nature Sings, features songs from composers such as Daniel Elder and Andre Thomas. Some of the Western region and all-state singers such as sophomore Alessio Pantello, junior Kate Murphy, and senior Logan Otis had some great solos featured in the concert. Great job, guys. If you missed the performance at St. Mark's, stay tuned until the end of the announcements for a clip of the concert. Looking ahead to next Tuesday at 7 p.m., the band will be playing in the auditorium. The 8th grade jazz and high school bands will be showcased. If you're interested in finding other ways and showing your holiday spirit, then you're in luck. The Student Coalition is sponsoring the annual holiday sweater contest where both students and teachers are encouraged to wear their most holiday looking sweater. The event is next Friday, December 22nd, and there will be prizes awarded to the best students and teacher sweaters. There will be mystery judges patrolling the school building looking for the most festive clothing. So get out there and show your holiday spirit. Coco for Canes is on Tuesday at 8 a.m. Students are welcome to stop by the guidance office during freeze and passing time for hot chocolate and candy canes. The event will end when the hot chocolate runs out, so you better get there quick. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally time to announce the teacher winners of the Toys for Tots event. NCTV would like to give a special thanks to everybody who participated and donated toys to kids who don't have any. Along with that, the votes are in, and the four teachers you chose to be on the announcements are Mr. Egan, Ms. Gleason, Mr. Gusich, and Mr. Killalay. Wow, congratulations, teachers, and I can't wait for that special broadcast. Now it's that time of year again. On December 21st, some of last year's graduated seniors will be returning for the senior breakfast. To answer any questions students may have about what being a, what a, fresh, being a freshman in college is like, seniors should report to the Wagner Room at 9.15 a.m. Well, Dom, with all that snow outside, it's really beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. You're right, Annie, but it's not quite Christmas yet, and our Rams are still working hard. To give us the second half of our winter previews and some recap, we go to Luke Pelly with sports. Luke, how's it looking? Hey guys, while well, Schaefer did a great job with the first half of your winter previews, you're not off the hook just yet. So here with the rest of them, I'm Luke Pelly, and this is the Rams Sports Report. Let's get things started with wrestling. The boys came off a strong season last year. Despite not winning states or FCX, the teams will miss the wrestling of Max Lavasser, Ryan Russo, and Nick Kazoos. But this year's captains Luigi DeRubris, Harrison Kozlowskis, and Nate and Christian Sibbett look to lead their team to their first state title. We caught up with Coach Gallo who says, We have a very experienced team this year. We are looking to compete for a state championship. We've never won one and we have a team good enough to do it this year. Make sure to look out for the key players like sophomore Tyler Sung, freshman Justin Mastrioni, senior Nick Cortman, junior Jack Stewart, and senior Andreas Moore. The boys will have their opening game next Saturday. Now boys swimming and diving took a big hit losing key seniors Ed Rudman, Charlie Adel, and Bhaskar Abirahman. But led behind the charge of Dave Kelly and Luke Stewart, their new captains, the Rams look to make a splashing start. Last season, they went undefeated and won the Class L State Championship for the second year in a row. If last year is any indication of what's in store, then they're well on their way to the trifecta, taking the state trophy three years in a row. The team looks forward to some big performances from underclassmen Patrick Caldwell, Bart Codd, and Will Fannin. The standout junior class, all-around strong divers, and several brand new additions will play an important role as they head into their dual meet season. With the snow, the track team takes things indoors, and although runners Michael St. George, Jake Grigsby, and Abinoff Paul will be missed, after seeing how well the freshmen did during cross country, the boys are looking to see how they develop and step up this winter season. They hope to place in at least the top five for both FCX and states, and as of right now, it's definitely looking like a possibility. Especially with Jack, with Jack Conley in throwing, Sean Knight in hurling, John Pizer for jumping, and many talented short and long distance runners like Kem Gray and Andrew Malling. Boys will take on their first meet, the Reindeer Relays, in Wilton tomorrow. Good luck, boys. Now on to the girls who look to continue their success from last season. 
where they placed fourth in the division and seventh in the FCAC. The girls will be without the performances of several seniors, including Paige Grimm, Lauren Carlson, and Drew Davis. However, new team captains Julia Ozimek, Nicole Labatti, Amelia Boyd, and Caitlin Kearns will look to lead the team in their absence. The girls are also hoping for big seasons from Chloe McAuliffe, Elena Tiller, and Isabella Orlando. We caught up with Mr. Brenston about the upcoming season, and he said, We have a promising freshman class this year that will definitely contribute to the team's success across the board. The girls help head to Wilton uh, tomorrow for the Reindeer Relays, their first meet of the season. Girls basketball tipped things off on Monday where they faced off against Bassick, pulling out a 44-30 lead. Then on Tuesday, they took a big hit, getting squashed by Bethel 42-16. Much like the Toon Squad got destroyed by the Monstars in the all-around hit classic Space Jam. See, Schaefer isn't the only one making references to pop culture. Well, guys, that's it for me until after break. I hope everyone has a good time off. I know I will. Dom and Annie, back to you. Thank you, Luke. Now, Dom, with the two-hour delay yesterday and the recent snow, I wonder what's in store for the weekend. You're right, Annie. The weather has been quite interesting lately. So to give us the inside scoop, we go to our brand new weather girl, Annie Zafino. Annie, how's the weather looking? Thanks, Dom, Annie. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Um, good morning, NCHS. My name is Annie Zafino, and I'm here to tell you about this weekend's weather. This weekend, we are going to see some temperatures in the 30s with sun and clouds. Starting off with today, it will stay pretty cloudy throughout the day at a high of only 29 degrees and dropping to a chilly 22 later tonight. So if you have any plans, be sure you bring a jacket. Saturday will be mostly sunny and a little bit warmer throughout the day with a high of 35 degrees. Then at night it will be getting colder with a low of 19. Moving on to this Sunday, this will be the warmest day this weekend, so we will see the sun throughout the day at a high of 34 degrees. At night it will again only be getting a little bit colder with a low of 29. So Dominani, if you're planning on doing any last minute Christmas shopping, Sunday looks like a great time to get that done. Thanks, Annie, and great job. Now, before we go, we would like to wish a very happy birthday to Chase Crum, Mallory Hart, Maxwell Nergia, and Morgan Porter. If you have any announcements, be sure to email us at nctv78 at gmail.com or tweet at us at nctv78 a week before the Friday broadcast. This has been Annie Manalia. And I'm Dom Itino. We leave you now with some footage of the choir concert. Have a great weekend, NCHS. Good at the game.